اللهم صل وسلم على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى ال سيدنا ومولانا محمد افضل صلواتك بعظم معلوماتك وبارك وسلم وصل عليه اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل وسلم على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى ال سيدنا ومولانا محمد افضل صلواتك بعظم معلوماتك وبارك وسلم وصل عليه وان طائفتان من المؤمنين ان ابدوا بارتي ذار جروب امنت بليو اقتتلوا دي فالت فايتين فاصلحوا بينهما دل ميك بيس بيتوين دم بوت وان طائفتان ان ابدوا جروب من المؤمنين افرامت بليو اقتتلوا دي فالت فايتين فاصلحوا بينهما سو ميك بيس بيتوين دم بوت وان البغت اخماهما But if one of them rebels on the other against the other, after this you have established a peace amongst them. So again, after peace, one group attacks the other. After peace. Fine, but if one of them rebels against the other, فقاتل الذي تنفعت يؤال كيس ذات وانتبغ وشري بلغ قد ذات فيه إلى أمر الله تلئت تلئت كمفلائز ود كمان ذاب الله سبحانه وتعالى فإن فات دن إفت كمفلائز فاصلحوا بينهما بالغتل دن ميك ريكانتليشن بيتوين دم جسدي وأقصتوا And be equitable in the law of Hibbul Muqsitin, where the Allah loves those who are equitable. So now here are a few points. Number one, fighting of two Muslims, individuals or groups, that is a big sin. In his last sermon, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, La taqtulu, la taqtiru min baadi kuffaran. In Haq, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, La taqtiru min baadi kuffaran. Don't turn kuffar and disbeliever after me. And Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam explained it, Yadribu baadukum bis rikaba baadin. That Muslims, they are hitting. are smiting the necks of each other. That is actually a disbelief inside Islam. Got it? That's a disbelief inside Islam. Because Islam means to cooperate with, it, with each other. Islam means to avail peace for yourself and to give it to the other. But here, you are going killing each other, fighting and beating each other, hitting each other. That is against the very spirit of Islam. So that's why Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, La tatiru min ba'di kuffara. Don't be disbeliever after me. Yadre babazatum, rita babazim. Smiting the next of each other. Got it? So if two individuals Muslims are two groups, they are fighting with each other. So other, those who are not a party, They may make a peace between them. And if after peace, one party again attacks with the other. So now that is the duty of those who made peace before. To fight the rebels of the rebellious group. And to bring them back to the proper trade. So when they will come back to the proper trade. Now there is no only peace treaty. But that is a reconciliation justly. 
There is a big difference between peace and between reconciliation just peace. So now there will be a reconciliation justly. As you know, that legally there are two terms. One is called mediation and the second one is called arbitration. You should write it. In mediation, both parties, they agree on give and take. They agree on give and take. But in arbitration, the, arbitra the arbitrator, he decree like a judge or he judge like a judge. He judges like a judge. Mediator, he is not judging. Yes, he is making a pressure. Mediator, he is making a pressure, and somebody, or uh, sometime, he will ask you, oh, she just leave it. You are eligible for what you are asking for. But for peace, he says, just ignore, leave it. That's the mediation. But in arbitration, the arbitrator will never ask you, leave it. Don't talk about that. No, speak out about every single issue. Got it? Got it or not? It? For mediation, you should write it. For mediation, some well wishers, they jump on their own. They jump on their own in between to stop the bloodshed. To stop the bloodshed or the fight. And in arbitration, both parties agree on someone or a group to judge their case. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala regarding arbitration said, Wa aqsitu. Do it justly. Do it justly. Who is the criminal? Yes. Give him penalty. Who has done wrong, don't ask the other party. Just not a case, get up in order. Yes? Forget about it. No. That is the case of mediation. That is the case of mediation. And this is arbitration. Mediation was in the very beginning. Now when the party after peace again attacks the other party. Now that is the case of arbitration. Sorry, the arbitrator judge. As the arbitration judge, he taken the case like a judge in court. Like a judge in court. Got it? And uh, his degree, that is very much accepted in a court of law. Because either the case, the individual case, it has been referred to him by the court. It has been sometimes, for example in our area, sometimes both parties they ask the, the judge, they ask the official judge that please send us both to an arbitrator. Send us both to an arbitrator. So we will feel easy to talk to the arbitrator. You know what I am saying? So at that time they used to refer it to us. Yes? But when they refer it, so they give them the whole record of their case. Yes, that we have already gone to that extent. Now you should go ahead and furthermore and decree the case just you. Got it? And when that is decreed, so we used to send it back to the court. And the court implemented it as it is. So once again, وَإِنْ تَعِفَتَانِ مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ اَفْلَتَلُوا اَنِ اِفْتُوْكُرُبْ Amongst the believers, if Satanu, they start to fighting. Fastly hope in Oma, they'll make a peace between them. Fine, but if now, but if one of them rebels or attack the other, after peace. After peace. And peace, that is by mediator. 
or through mediation. So there, there is given take. There is given take. You are eligible for ten thousand dollars. Nigger, you are eligible for ten thousand dollars. But if the fight was going on, may Allah forgive and forbid. Fight is not not good. But a fight was going on for the ten thousand dollars between Fahim and Nasim, and Mahmud Jan became a mediator between them, not an arbitrator. Yeah. Because he jumped in between them, that they are friends and they are brothers, and why they are fighting for money? Yes. Yeah. And regarding mediation, sometimes the mediator say, okay. How much you can give him? They will say, I will give him only eight thousand, not ten thousand. So just give me eight thousand, and then he says, this is my two thousand. In Sai Fatane and Ipto Group, Menal Mu'minina from amongst the believers, if Tatado, they fail to fight in Fasli Hope and Oma, so make a peace between them, find Bahat Ifna Oma Gala Lokra. Because in Islamic fiqh and also in hadith, look at me, in the books of hadith and also in the books of fiqh, there are two different chapters. Mediation for their purpose, the muhaddithin and the fuqaha both, they have written the chapter of kitab al-sulah. What? Kitab al-sulah. But regarding arbitration, there is a specific chapter that's called kitab al-tahkim. That's called? Kitab al-Tahkim. Got it? So it means these are two different things. Surah, it has its own procedure. Tahkim has its own procedure. For Surah, we are not asking for documents. For peace, we are not asking for documents. That how you will prove it in front of a Muslim, in front of Mahmoud Jan. Yes. Dispute is, no, no. But he claims 10,000, that's not right. Okay, so what you say? How much? He said 8,000. Okay. Just give it to me. The team, take this 8,000 and tomorrow if it comes to my business, I will give you 2,000. Got it? Just... Got it? That's called Kitab Ustula. That's called Kitab Ustula. But the second one is Kitab Ustakim, or arbitration. So there's the arbitrator. Arbitrator, he asks for all those things which are required by law. Which are required by law. How he owe you that money? I sold him a car. Where is the bill of sale? Where is the bill of sale? Yes. Where is the price mentioned? What your proof in this regard? You know what I am saying? If Fahim says that I have paid him a portion of that, yes. Where is the payment? In cash or check? And you paid in cash. Have you got and seeds from him that I received that much money? Or if that is a check, so where is your check? Just bring the copy of your check and let's find out that that was not a bound check. Yes. The whole procedure is like that of a court. That is arbitration. Got it? And Muhaddithin and Fuqaha both, they have wrote a specific chapter in their book, Kitab al But for mediation, there is another book or another chapter that is Kitab al Got it? Yes. If Hafiz uh, Asim will show commitment to study, so we will make him a commitment. In Sai Fatale, if two groups men al Mu'minina from believers in Tataru, they fell to fighting. Fast Lehu Benoma make a peace between them, fine brothers. And then if one of them rebel. Allah Okra against the other Fata Tilullate, then fight all together Allah with their group or against their group. Tabhi which rebels Hatta Tafiya till it go back and come back ila Amrilla to the order of Allah. And the order of Allah is no fight. The order of Allah is no fight. Harmony. So here, another concept. Yes, when people, they do object to Muslims, that they are fighting against the non-Muslims. They are fighting against us. And they are intolerant people. Muslims are intolerant people. Number one. 
So that is wrong. Number one, we say that is wrong. Muslim are tolerant people, not intolerant. But tolerance has its own limit. Tolerance has its own limit. Everyone will be tolerant as long as you are not attacking his honor and respect. As long as you are not using effort against his parents. Yes? And if you use effort against his parents and you still looking for tolerance, does it make sense? Say, does it make sense? But now the problem is that in case of parents, they will admit, yes, he has all the right to retaliate because parents are parents. Parents are parents. And the guy used as what against his parents. You know what I am saying? But now the problem is, if somebody is using effort against Allah and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and here you will retaliate, that is intolerant. They don't know that Allah is prior to us than anything. Muhammad is prior to us than anything. Yes, in case of parents, maybe we will tolerate, but in case of Muhammad, we do not. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Got it? Now that is a point which they do not understand. What do you think? Got it? So that's why, if you want to debate an issue with a non-Muslim, so just have a circle here. And have a limit here. Because he will be speaking out every single thing. And that will provoke you. It will provoke you. And the ultimate result is that he will propagate you. And tolerant people. They do not know how to, they do not know how to debate. Got it? And the basic principle is there in Holy Quran, Holy Ahl al Kitab Ta'ala. إِلَا كَلِمَةٍ سَوَاءٍ بَيْنَنَا أَلَّا نَعْبُدَ إِلَّا اللَّهُ وَلَا نَسْرِكَ بِهِ شَيْئًا وَلَا يَسْتَخِذَ بَعْضُنَا أَرْبَابًا مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ This is to encircle yourself and him as well. That in debate, in argument, in discussion, we will not violate these rules. We will not transgress these boundaries. Got it? So then you will see that we are extraordinarily tolerant people. Yes? Got it or not? So number one. And number two, that Muslims do not fight against non-Muslim for no reason. They fight has its own reason there. And that is in Arabic, Azulm wal harama. What? Azulm wal harama. Azulm cruelty. So everybody has all the right to defend. Has he or not? But Islamically, that is not a right. That is what? That's a duty. As we mentioned the right of Quran, the defense is a duty. Professor, defense is a duty. If you will not do that, you are a sinner. If you will not do that, you are a sinner. Here you would be beaten by your enemy. And on the day of judgment, you would be beaten by the angels. Zulm, cruelty. And number two, Al-Haraba. And Haraba means that your opponent or your enemies impose a war on you. Impose. So now you, you, what you will do? You will be a silent spectator. Okay. Yes. Come on. Yes. You will be withdrawing and going to it. Yes. Going down river and just tell them, come on. Yes. Got it? No. Stop it. In a prisoner. These are real, these are logical things. These are what? Logical. If you will debate it with them, they will not say that is wrong. Because that is everywhere, every in international law. That's everywhere written in international law. That's number two. And point number three is that Muslims are not fighting only against the non Muslims when they are doing something wrong. But here in the light of this ayah, they have to fight against Muslims even. They have to fight against Muslims even. Because one group that is still Muslim, that is not Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called them for in taifatani minal mu'mineen aqtadalu fa in bagat ihdahu ma'al al-ukhra If one of these groups attack the other, after they say we establish a peace among the then fight against the rebel party. 
are the rebellious party. So the rebellious party is still Muslim, and Muslims have been honored by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to fight against them. That is not it. And point number four is that fighting or killing or injuring each other. That's a major sin. That's what? That's a major sin. But as long as you do not believe it a permissible action, so only by doing that you will never lose your iman. Still you are Muslim. Even though you are committing a major sin, but still you are a Muslim. The Taqida of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. Because there is Mu'tadila and Khawarij. And you studied that in history. Yes. Yes, Nathim. You studied Mu'tadila and you studied Khawarij. Then they both say, when someone commits a major sin, he loses his Iman. When someone commits a major sin, somebody, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive and forbid. He committed theft. He committed theft. So according to Mu'tadila and Khawarij, he lost his Iman. He is no more Muslim. If he is crying evil, then I believe this is wrong. I believe this is haram. I believe this is illegal. I believe this is unlawful. But they say, no, you did it, you have lost your Iman. Got it? Somebody injured another Muslim for no reason. I'll kill him. Huh? Kill him. He believes that this is a sin. But Mu'tadila and Khawarij, they both say that he has lost his Iman. Yes? Somebody missed his prayer for no any just reason. So he lost his Iman according to Mu'tadila and the Khawarij. Yes? And Imam Abu Hanifa Rahmatullahi Alayhi says, وَإِنَّ الْكَبِيرَةَ لَا تُخْرِجُ الْمُؤْمِنَ لَا تُخْرِجُ الْعَبْدَ الْمُؤْمِنَ مِنَ الْإِيمَانِ وَلَا تُدْخِلُهُ فِي الْكُفْرِ Committing a major sin will never turn him out of the fold of Iman nor push him to the fold of Kufr. Yes, by saying this one single sentence, he condemned Mu'tazila and he condemned Khawarij also. Because Mu'tazila says, Mu'tazila, that the guy is concerned, he has not his Iman, but he has not entered into the fold of Kufr. He has not entered yet. Into, so he is, uh, you can say that, uh, he is standing somewhere in balcony. Yes. And cut it off. He is standing there. In a corridor between Iman and Kufr. Because he went out of Iman, but never entered into the fold of Kufr. That's called Al-Manzila, Pain Al-Manzila, Pain according to Rasmalas. But Khawarij says that there is no any corridor. There is the moment he went out of the fold of Iman, so he entered into Kufr. Got it? Abu Hanifa says, Rahimahullah, that Mar Kabiratu, La Tukhruj al-Abd al-Mu'mina min al-Iman, wa la Tukhilu fil Kufr. Yet a major thing does not kick him out from the fold of Iman. As long as he believes that this is sin and this is unlawful. But he did it. But he believes that this is sin. God is not it. So, and this is the way that fighting with each other or killing each other or injuring each other. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never titles them as a kafir and disbeliever. Or at least no mu'min or no believer. No mu'min or no. Because there is disbeliever and there is misbeliever. So disbeliever is a kafir. And misbeliever is neither a kafir and not a mu'min. Yes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never called them disbeliever or misbeliever. You know what I'm saying? Got it? But still he called wa insai fatani. Say, min al Allah calls them along with fight. And they are fighting each other, but still they are mu'min. Got it? وَإِنْ سَعِفَتَانِ نِفْتُ بْرُدْ مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ فَرَمْ تَبَلِيوَزْ اِقْتَسَلُوا دِفِرْ تُو فَائِتِنْ فَاسْرِحُ بِنَوْ مَا مَيْكِ فِيزْ بِتْوِينْ دِمْ بُوْتْ فَائِنْ بَغَتْ And then if one of them rebels, if one of them rebels, Against the other, Fakat ilullati, then fight all together against that one. Tapuze, which rebels, Hatta tapiya ila amrillah, till it complies with the command of Allah. Fine, Fa'at, and if it 
Complied with the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fasliqu bainawma. So they'll make a reconciliation between them will get saved justly. That reconciliation is justly. Wa aqsitu and be equitable in Allah yukhibbul muqsitin. Allah lau dozu wa equitable in la malmuminuna. Where it is the believers, barakhwatun, they are nothing else but brothers in Islamic religion. The Muslims are brothers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, somewhere in Surah Tawbah says, وَالْمُؤْمِنُونَ وَالْمُؤْمِنَاتُ بَعْضُهُمْ أَوْلِيَاءُ بَعْضُ There he called them, that moment and believers, they are the awliya of one another. They are the awliya of one another. And awliya is the plural of wali. And we told you so many times that wali is a word in Arabic language which has more than one meaning. One is friend and the second one is protector. The third one is helper. The fourth one is guardian. The fifth one is master. The sixth one is liberated slave. The seventh one is inheritor. The eighth one is first cousin. So this, that one one word, yes, it has more than ten meanings. You know what I'm saying? So there Allah says, Wal mu'minuna wal mu'minato ba'dum awliya o ba'dum. They are the friends of each other. Number one, they are the protectors of each other. Number two, they are the helpers of each other. Number three, they are the secret keeper of each other. Number four, they are the consultants of each other. Number five, they are the advisors of each other. All these are the meaning used in one way or the other in the ayat of Holy Quran as far as the word one is concerned. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ladina amanu la tattakhidu betanatam min dunikum. La tattakhidu betanatam min dunikum means other than Muslims are women you may not take as betana. As betana. And betana means secret keepers. Bithana means consultant. Bithana means advisor. But it does not apply to your worldly business. Yes, regarding your worldly business, you will be having a non-Muslim consultant. You will be having a non-Muslim advisor. You will be having a non-Muslim attorney. You will be having a non-Muslim doctor. You will be having a non-Muslim architect. No, la tatta khidu bithana tam min dunikum in religious business. You may not have a non-Muslim consultant. Got it? You may not have a non-Muslim advisor. Got it or not? Yes. Got it or not? And that's why I say that writing your PhD thesis in Islamic studies under the supervision of whom? Yes, J-E-W. Your advisor is J-A-W or a Christian. You know what I'm saying? So what type of thesis he will accept, which is written according to his approach? If it is not, he will never accept it. He will never get into your PhD. Got it? So that's why I say that that type of PhD is also conspiracy against Islam. Yes? That is a sugar-coated tablet. What type of tablet is it? A sugar-coated poison. You got it or not? So that's the Sahil Kafirina, Awliya Amindun and Mumini. And Mindun, I mentioned time and again, that that type of friendship which goes in one way or the other against Islam and Muslims. Which goes in one way or the other? Again, if it does not, just don't I have what one? The believers are nothing else than brothers. Fasliqu bena khawaykum so make a reconciliation between your brothers. وَاتَّقُلَّا فِيَا أَلَّا سُبْحَانَ وَتَعَلَى لَغَلْ لَكُمْ تُرْحَمُونَ That you may receive the mercy of Allah سُبْحَانَ وَتَعَلَى So it means those who are making a face of between Muslims. So they are having the mercy of Allah سُبْحَانَ وَتَعَلَى يَا عَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا لَا يَسْغَرْ قَوْمٌ مِنْ قَوْمٍ يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أَوْ يُوهُ بَلِيْفُ 
I get it. Now you got it? Or not it? But point number two is, there is mostly the word home. The word home or nation. That is used for men gender. For who? For men gender. And especially in Arabia. And also in our Pashtun. Because maybe your sister, your auntie, or your daughter, she is married to another tribe. Or she is married to another nation. So her kids, will you count them in your tribe? No. And that's why an Arab poet said, Khalid, this for you. Another poet said, what he said. Ke banu na banu abnai na wa banatu na banu hulla abna urjadil abahidi. That our sons are the sons of our sons. Our sons are the sons of our sons. As far as the case of the sons of our daughter is concerned, wa banatu na banu hulla abna urjadil abahidi. They are the sons of strangers. Yes. Yes, Alhamdulillah. Arabian poet. Ke banu na banu abna ina wa banatu na banu hulla abna urrijal il abaghidi. Our sons are the sons of our sons. And the sons of our daughter, if they are married to another nation, so they are the sons of strangers. Means they are not the, the afraad of our nation. God. God are not. So anyhow, Regarding the ayah of, you should write it. That we use, and Allah use the word, فَقَادِلُلَّتِ تَبْغِي فَقَادِلُلَّتِ تَبْغِي تَبْغِي is from Bagawat. Tabghi is Bagawat. Bagawat means religious action. If two Muslims go are fighting with each other, so Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also said, based upon this ayah, to make a peace between them, that is a must. To make a peace between them, that is a must. And if you cannot do it, don't be a part of their dispute, neither on this side nor on that side. You should write. Number two, if you are very much sure that this group they are on the right side. And the other group, they are on the wrong side. You are very much sure about that. That this group is okay, but that one they are doing wrong. They are violating the rules of Allah or the rules of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa So from the very beginning, you have to convince them to admit that we are wrong. So they may stop. You should write it. And if they do not, then you have to support the right group. Then you have to Support the right group. This is rule number two. Number three. The people, they became rebellious against their Islamic government. People became, or a group of people became rebellious against them. But they are doing the same only to spread mischief or disorder. They don't have any base. Why they have become rebellious? Why they are not accepting their government? But they are doing that only for what? For mischief and disorder. So then a fight against such a group, that is permissible. And doesn't make difference whether the government is a good government or a bad one. Because that group is making a survival. Yes. Bad government, at least a new government. Bad, bad government? Yes. What happened here? Was bad government. But things were in control. Now what happened? It's my. Who controlled who? Nobody. Yes. Number two. If the government is okay, that's a good government, and the rebellious are violators, so in that case, People are bound to support the government against those rebellious people. 
Number three. If the government is a fastest one, if the government is a fastest. So their fitness and violation is of two types. By their violation, they are harming general public. They do harm general public, or they do not. And some just and pious people, they rebel against that goal. So if the government is not harming general, pe- uh, general public, so there you may not support the group who rebel against that government. Got it? And if the government is harming general public unjustly, and the group of five people rebel against that government, so majority of Fukaha, they are of the view that the group may not be supported but the government. As long as the government has not become obvious justice. As long as the government has not become obvious justice. Because the Hadith Prophet says they don't fight against them illa antarao kufran bawahan. Illa antarao kufran bawahan as zahiran. If you will feel from them that they have lost their iman, the government people, they have lost their iman, so now you should support their group against their kufran bawahan. Got it? Imam Nawabi says that this is a unanimous decision of Fukaha. But Abu Hanifa rahimahullah, a man of strong will, he himself was practicing otherwise, even though. He says for his followers that if you cannot do that, so just follow that Fukaha. Then follow that because he is not putting his followers in trouble. Yes, but he himself, he was not doing that. You should write this. Against Bani Umayyah, he was supporting Zayd ibn Ali, Razi Allah Ta'ala'an. Financially he was supporting whom? Zayd ibn Ali against whom? Bani Umayyah. You should write this. And in Abbasi dynasty, he was supporting an nafsu zakiya. From the family of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his name was an zakiya. Al-Imam an nafsu zakiya. He was supporting him against Khalifa Mansur. So now, who is a bhagi or a rebellious one? Actually the problem is in definition. Who is a rebellious one? Ibn al-Hammam from Hanafite, he said, someone who has come out against a just Islamic ruler, who has come out against a just Islamic ruler, number one. Imam Shafi, he himself mentioned the same definition. Imam Malik, he says the same. And same is the case of Imam Ibn Jodi from Hanbalai. And the followers of Imam Ahmad, Imam Ibn Jodi, he said the same. Got it? That Bagi is that one who has come out against a just Islamic ruler. Got it? Now, if the Islamic ruler is not a just one, so then the person who has come out against him, maybe he is a prophet against a prophet. What you can say? That is a prophet against a prophet. Just like a dog against a dog. Just like what? A dog against a dog. Imam Abu Hanifa Rahimullah says, you should write it, that if the religious action is with weapons, not only possession, takbir, this is not Bhagavad, this is not religious act. Religious act means, zikho yak, shilo yak, rakhir, lancher, this and that, 
He has every type of weapon. That's not religious action. Yes, if people are on road and they are, yes, they have to express their point of view. They have to, which is called freedom of speech. Which is called what? Freedom of, and freedom of congregation. That is our must. Professor. Yes. The only condition is, they may not harm the general public. They may not harm the traffic. They may not harm the traffic. Because that's a trouble for the general public. So that's why they ask the government that we will be having a profession. We will be having a profession on such and such road, such and such day. They do find it from what time to what time? From 12 o'clock to 2 o'clock. Okay. So before 12 o'clock, that's not allowed. After 2 o'clock, that is because it creates what? Disturbance. That is not it. And if in a fight against rebellion, if they got captured, so they may be pardoned because they are Muslims. They are what? They may be pardoned. Only you have to fight against them. If they are not running away, so Muhammad Pasir Rahimah, don't follow them. Don't go behind them. Because you are not allowed to kill them. They are Muslims. They are what? They are Muslims. Muslims may not be killed. They may be stopped in one way or the other, with easy possible way. Yes. But through convincing they were not stopping, that's why a fight was allowed. Yes. So that's why in the beginning, what the government does in this regard? Yes. Clear fire. Yes. They are not targeting. Yes. What? One. Yes. Uh, sometimes, they use the rubber bullet. What? The rubber bullet. And sometimes rear bullet, but on their left. Not otherwise the past of body. And when they start running, so then all four of them say, Yes, don't go behind them. That is the case, and you got it. That is the case, and you got it. Because killing a person is not allowed, that's not permissible. Got it or not it? فإن شاء الله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين